When people hear the words, you have type 2 diabetes, many feel like their life is over. They start thinking about a lifetime of medication, constant blood sugar checks, and the fear of complications like nerve damage, kidney failure, or even amputation. But what if I told you that type 2 diabetes isn't a life sentence? What if I told you that many people have put their diabetes into remission simply by making the right changes? This video will be an eye-opener for you. Because once you understand the real cause behind type 2 diabetes and the nutrients your body needs to restore insulin sensitivity, you'll realize that diabetes isn't the beginning of the end of anything, as long as you have the right knowledge. We're about to cover six of the most powerful vitamins and nutrients that have been shown in studies to improve insulin sensitivity, lower blood sugar, and even reverse prediabetes in many cases. But make sure to stick around until the end, because I'm also going to share three life-changing tips that, when combined with these vitamins, have helped many people send their type 2 diabetes into remission. Before we get started, please understand that this video is for informational purposes only and is not intended as medical advice. Always consult with your doctor or healthcare provider before making any changes to your diet, supplements, or lifestyle, especially if you have a medical condition like type 2 diabetes. So let's get started. 1. Vitamin D. Would you believe that a vitamin D deficiency can actually cause insulin resistance? It's not just a theory. Multiple studies have found that people with low vitamin D levels are at a significantly higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that individuals with higher vitamin D levels had a 43% lower risk of developing diabetes compared to those with a deficiency. But why does this happen? Vitamin D plays a critical role in how your body produces and uses insulin. It helps the pancreas release insulin more effectively while also increasing the sensitivity of your cells to insulin. When your vitamin D levels are too low, your body struggles to regulate blood sugar properly, which can eventually lead to insulin resistance, a key driver of type 2 diabetes. Now, while boosting your vitamin D levels through sunlight exposure, fatty fish like salmon, or a high-quality vitamin D3 supplement can drastically improve blood sugar control, there's one crucial thing to remember. Always pair vitamin D3 with vitamin K2. These two vitamins work hand-in-hand hand to direct calcium where it belongs, into the bones instead of the arteries. Without enough K2, excessive vitamin D intake can lead to arterial calcification, increasing the risk of heart disease, something that diabetics are already more vulnerable to. So if you're supplementing with vitamin D3, make sure to take vitamin K2 alongside it to keep your heart and blood sugar in check. 2. Magnesium did you know that up to 80% of people with type 2 diabetes are deficient in magnesium? Magnesium is involved in over 300 biochemical reactions in the body, and one of its biggest roles is helping insulin work properly. A study published in Diabetes Care found that people with higher magnesium intake had a 47% lower risk of developing diabetes. Another study showed that supplementing with magnesium improved fasting blood sugar and insulin sensitivity in people with prediabetes. So why are so many people, especially diabetics, deficient in magnesium? Well, diets high in processed foods, refined grains, and sugar deplete magnesium from the body. And insulin resistance itself causes the body to lose more magnesium through urine, creating a vicious cycle. The best forms of magnesium for blood sugar control are magnesium glycinate or magnesium malate. They are easily absorbed and don't cause digestive issues like magnesium oxide does. Three. Vitamin E. Diabetes is not just a disease of high blood sugar. It's a disease of oxidative stress and inflammation. That's where vitamin E comes in. Vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant that protects the blood vessels, nerves, and eyes from damage caused by high blood sugar levels. Research published in Diabetes Research and Clinical Practice found that vitamin E supplementation reduced markers of oxidative stress in diabetics and improved insulin sensitivity. But here's the key. Not all vitamin E is created equal. Most supplements only contain alpha tocopherol, but you also need gamma tocopherol and tocotrienols to get the full benefits. The best source of vitamin E? Nuts, seeds, avocados, and a high-quality mixed tocopherol supplement. 4. Omega-3 Fatty Acids Many people fear fat, but when it comes to blood sugar control, healthy fats like omega-3s are not just beneficial, they're essential. Omega-3 fatty acids, found in fatty fish, flax seeds, walnuts, and high-quality fish oil supplements, 
do much more than support heart health. They reduce inflammation, improve insulin function, and even protect against diabetic complications like nerve damage and heart disease. A meta-analysis published in the Journal of Clinical Lipidology found that omega-3 supplementation significantly improved insulin sensitivity and reduced blood sugar levels in people with metabolic syndrome, a condition that often precedes type 2 diabetes. This means that getting enough omega-3s can directly help your body regulate blood sugar more effectively. But here's the problem. Most people consume way too many inflammatory omega-6 fats from processed foods and vegetable oils like soybean oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, and canola oil. These oils, which are commonly found in fast food, packaged snacks, and processed meals, contribute to chronic inflammation and insulin resistance, making it easier for diabetes to develop. Research has even linked high omega-6 intake to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. To fix this imbalance, focus on wild-caught fish, flax seeds, walnuts, and high-quality fish oil supplements to boost your omega-3 intake while also reducing processed foods and seed oils high in omega-6. Shifting your omega-6 to omega-3 ratio in favor of more omega-3s can drastically lower inflammation, improve insulin function, and support better long-term blood sugar control. 5. Chromium Chromium is a trace mineral that plays a crucial role in how your body processes carbohydrates and insulin. Studies show that chromium supplementation improves insulin sensitivity and reduces blood sugar spikes after meals. A clinical trial published in Diabetes found that people who took chromium picolinate had lower fasting blood sugar and better A1C levels than those who didn't. Unfortunately, modern diets are low in chromium because processing and refining foods strip it away. Some of the best natural sources are broccoli, eggs, beef, and whole grains. But if you're deficient, a chromium picolinate supplement may help. 6. Berberine If there's one supplement that works almost as well as prescription diabetes medication, it's berberine. Berberine is a plant compound that has been shown in multiple studies to lower blood sugar, improve insulin sensitivity, and even reduce A1C levels. In fact, a study published in Metabolism found that berberine lowered blood sugar just as effectively as metformin, one of the most commonly prescribed diabetes drugs. Berberine works by activating an enzyme called AMPK, which is known as the metabolic master switch because it helps regulate blood sugar, fat storage, and energy production. But here's the key. Berberine has a short half-life, so it's best to take it in smaller doses throughout the day like 500 mg before meals, 2 to 3 times daily. Now that we've covered the best vitamins for type 2 diabetes, let's talk about the three life-changing tips that, when paired with these nutrients, have helped many people send their type 2 diabetes into remission. If you're serious about your insulin resistance, these steps are non-negotiable. 1. Cut out or drastically reduce carbs. Replace them with healthy protein and fats. If there's one thing that makes or breaks blood sugar control, it's carbohydrate intake. Most people with type 2 diabetes are carbohydrate intolerant, meaning that carbs cause their blood sugar to spike abnormally high. This forces the pancreas to work overtime, pumping out more and more insulin to try to lower blood sugar. But over time, this constant demand burns out the pancreas, making the condition worse. To stop this cycle, carbs need to be drastically reduced or eliminated. This is non-negotiable if you're serious about improving your diabetes. Instead of loading up on bread, pasta, rice, and sugar, switch to healthy fats and proteins like grass-fed meats, eggs, avocados, nuts, olive oil, and wild-caught fish. Unlike carbs, protein and fat provoke little to no blood sugar spikes, which means less stress on the pancreas. Over time, this allows insulin sensitivity to improve and gives your pancreas a chance to heal. Numerous studies have shown that low-carb diets can dramatically improve blood sugar control. In fact, a study in diabetes therapy found that 84% of people with type 2 diabetes who followed a low-carb diet reduced or eliminated their need for medication. That's powerful. 2. Intermittent fasting The second powerful tool for sending diabetes into remission is intermittent fasting. Many people think diabetes is just about what you eat, but when you eat is just as important. Every time you eat, especially high-carb meals, your pancreas releases insulin to process the incoming glucose. But when you're constantly eating throughout the day, your insulin levels stay elevated, and over time, your cells become insulin-resistant, making diabetes worse. Intermittent fasting, 
where you limit eating to a certain window each day, allows insulin levels to drop, forcing your body to burn through stored glucose and fat for energy. This helps reset insulin sensitivity, making your body more responsive to insulin again. Studies have shown that intermittent fasting can significantly lower blood sugar and improve insulin sensitivity. A study in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that fasting improved insulin sensitivity by up to 58%, helping people with diabetes regain control of their blood sugar. If you're new to intermittent fasting, start with a 12-hour fasting window, for example, eating between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., and gradually work your way up to 16 hours or more. The longer you go without eating, the more your body burns stored sugar, reducing insulin resistance. 3. Stay active. The third key is staying active. You don't need to spend hours in the gym, but regular movement is one of the best ways to lower blood sugar naturally. When you exercise, your muscles use glucose for energy, pulling sugar out of your bloodstream without needing extra insulin. This immediately lowers blood sugar levels and improves insulin sensitivity over time. A study in Diabetologia found that even just 30 minutes of moderate exercise five times a week reduced the risk of developing type 2 diabetes by 58%. And if you already have diabetes, strength training and walking after meals can dramatically reduce blood sugar spikes. The key is to move often. Take the stairs instead of the elevator, go for a 10-minute walk after meals, or do simple bodyweight exercises at home. The more you move, the more your muscles soak up excess glucose, keeping your blood sugar stable. So there you have it, the best vitamins for diabetes, and the three life-changing tips that, when combined, can help send type 2 diabetes into remission. Remember, always consult your healthcare provider before adding any supplements to your routine. Want to take it a step further? Be sure to check the description for a high-quality magnesium glycinate and vitamin D3 plus K2 supplement. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to help others who need this information.